All right, the, Nick, yes, we had to head outside and we have Miss Angie here and some kids having some fun. You guys brought a lot of gear with you, a lot of fun activities. Miss Angie's place is in Pine Island. This is Angie Severson. She is the owner and also the woman who keeps all these kiddos in line. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? I'm doing all right. It's really nice outside, so we're having a good day. Yeah. So today we're talking a little bit about the benefits of outdoors because you have a lot of kids that come to your location and you do some fun things. So what are some of the things that you do outside? We, well, as all the stuff you can see, we try to make sure there's a variety of things for all the kids. And so um, one thing we did is we went and planted some different plants. So we had a, like a herbalist come and help us with these. And then a local business, DM Creative, um, Marie Ferguson, gave us time-lapse cameras oh. so we can watch them grow. So we're super pumped about that. So what plants are we looking at here? I haven't even looked in here. That is that's called Tulsi. Okay. And so Thistle Patch Wellness and the Greenstead, they're the ones that helped us with that. So Tulsi has all these medicinal values, which I can't remember right now, <laughs> but she did put it in honey and it was really good. So is this the camera right here? Is that what I'm looking at or what yeah. is this? Yep. Oh. Oh, and it says do yeah. not touch and I was touching it. Okay, I won't do that. <laughs> That's okay. It's just so kids didn't pull it out. Um, but now all these plants that we planted, we're going to put at our new location, which we're moving into on Friday. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Are you ready? No. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> You're still in the move-in process a little bit. There's a lot of stuff to move over there. Well, we purchased the building in February. So it's been this hurry up and wait, hurry up and wait. And so now it's finally going to be here on Friday. Okay. So the kids are still in school. Are they done with school now? Friday is their last day. Ooh, Friday is the last day. So what does that mean for you at Miss Angie's place? That means that I am doing this Friday at 8 a.m. We go in and sign the papers. The kids are done. Our last day, we're having an ice cream party. And then we have a couple weeks off. Next weekend, we have all our events for Cheese Fest. And then the following week, I get one week off. Super excited. And then all of our summer camps start. Okay, you have a lot of camps. Because I think when we were chatting with you a while back, you were planning out this big schedule that you have this summer. So what are some of the fun camps? So all of our camps, the big thing is they're intergenerational. And so the ages will be four plus or nine plus. But that means a, a kid can come with like a grandparent or a parent, or if you're somebody that wants to learn a new skill. So we have like intro to sewing machines, intro to woodworking. Then we have nature scapes, which we've, that's been one of our starter programs where we go catch crayfish. And, and then there's messy art, because that's my favorite kind of art is when you get your hands all yeah. messy. Okay, I'm going to chat with the girls here in just a bit, but let's recap some of the events that you have coming up. How can people help? What time do they need to show up and where? So let's start with the Cheese Fest. So we have Kids Day on Saturday. If you wanted to help with that, it would be awesome to come Friday and get everything set up. So Saturday, June 3rd is, is Kids Day at Cheese Fest. And so Red Barn Learning Center is gonna be there with us. Good Hue Habitat for Humanity. Um, Pine Island Lumber is giving us bounce houses and then Pine Island Lumber is doing the minnow races. And so if you'd like to come and sit and hang out, oh, we're gonna do hammer schlagen. Oh, which that's is, fun. Yeah. It's like hilarious. That. And then on Sunday, we're going to walk in the Cheese Fest Parade, which is super fun. So if you want to help organize that. And then we have our open house party in our new building. And that's on the 4th. June 4th. And at 3.30 p.m., we're having a Dolly Parton lip sync battle and a Bob Ross painting contest. Ooh. Mm -hmm. So that's on the 4th. More details on our website. That's KTDC.com. All right, we have to chat with the girls back here. I will need your first and last name and what your favorite outdoor activity is. Um, Lainey Mann, and my favorite act outdoor activity is fishing. Fishing? Are you a good fisherman? Fisherwoman? Not very much. Oh, well, you get better with practice, right? Yeah. Awesome. Next up, who do we have here? Ella Aiken. And what is your favorite outdoor activity? Volleyball. Volleyball. You're probably pretty good at volleyball, too. <laughs> yeah, you look like you'd be good at volleyball. <laughs> Next up, I think I've seen you before. What's your first and last name? Ivory Severson. And your favorite outdoor activity? Foursquare. Foursquare? Yeah. That is a good one. And you have, what? what is this? How does this work? You haven't run out of bubbles yet. I'm impressed. There's a lot left. That's a nice little machine. <laughs> it is. Keep them going. Keep them going. Next up, who do we have? Claire Olson. And my favorite activity is softball. Softball. That's a good one. Everyone had has had a different answer so far. Next up, 
Elena Florin, um, and my favorite activity is wall ball. And actually, the other day, we just lost our actual wall ball because it, it went across the road and went in a drain pipe. Oh. Like, it went into the sewer. So it's gone. Yeah. It's gone. And I think your other yeah. ball is gone, too. Where'd that go? It went under oh, her. Under her. <laughs> yeah. I think you have a common problem here. <laughs> but that's all right. It's fun. It's a beautiful day out here. Miss Angie's Place, you can check it out in Pine Island. There's ways that you can donate and help out because it is a nonprofit, and there's a lot that you can do to help it continue to be such a success. Thank you guys for being here. Okay, who's going to play with me as we go to commercial break? Okay. All right, we have much more ahead on Midwest Access. Are you going to go over there? Got to throw it. I'm going to throw it to you. Tom Overly, I know, will be joining us live. You got to catch this. Pressure's on. Woo! He'll be joining us live in the newsroom when we return. We'll be right back. Good job.